Okay, I don't know who we we're gonna get from Wabash here, but it's it's always good to see new faces. Talk to me about the last three months of this process getting hired by Wabash. Yeah, um, I'd say about three months ago, Brian uh, was a college teammate of mine. Um, we wrestled Manchester at Manchester. Yeah, okay. we your teammates and graduated uh, same class and stuff, and so he reached out. Knows I've been coaching, coached at SDSU for about five years. I coached at Dakota Wesleyan for four, and then I've been at uh, Morningside for three years, and I uh, knew that I wanted to get back into more full-time coaching. Um, when I was at Morningside, I uh, worked at a different job at a community college. I uh, went over there and helped coach, and I knew I wanted to get back in full-time, and when Erwin decided to take a coaching job, he reached out, and uh, so kind of went went down the, down the road of getting hired there. So. So you're moving from Iowa to Indiana. Mm -hmm. What is that process like for you? Uh, I'm actually on my way to Indiana right now. My car's loaded up and driving there and figure I'd stop at this combine. And uh, it's going to be a transition for me because my family's going to have to wait because my wife, uh, her position, um, she's a superintendent of school, so she couldn't leave right away. But um, be out there with by myself doing the coaching thing and then family move out at the end of uh, school year next year. So, so like June after her school year is yeah. over she'll probably be looking for, she'll probably have a job out there. Doing, Hopefully I guess. she'll have a job already lined up and be able to transition out there and be back together and do that. Alright. So. Everybody's chasing, I just saw him walk in the door, Wartburg. Everybody in D3 NCAA is chasing Wartburg. I don't think he feels that way. I don't no. think Brian Anderson feels that no. way. No. But in reality, you guys are you're trying to win titles. Yeah. They've got six out of the last seven. For sure. What do you guys got to do? You know, like you got to have some new vision. You and him have some shared vision, obviously. But mm -hmm. what do you got to do? What are you looking for in recruits when you come to, to recruit here at C3? Um, I think the biggest thing is we want to find uh, kids that did, just want to compete and look for that great experience and, 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 and want to win titles. I mean, if you, you get a group of guys that uh, want to win and they want to do everything in their power to win, be good at academics and be good in social life and live that championship lifestyle, um, they, they kind of mold themselves into that. And I think that the culture at Wabash has that created already. Now it's just a matter of finding that, that group of you know, six or seven guys and get it down to the national tournament to, to win that title. So. Okay. Were there any Lefevre brothers in there? Any future Lefevres in there? I hope so. I hope Holy guys, smokes, right? Yeah, those guys uh, Those guys did a number for Wabash and uh, it's, a, it's a credit to Coach Anderson for getting them all there and, and helping create that culture there. So, fill in the void of Coach Erwin. He goes to Wheeling Jesuit. You slide in there. What's that like? And what what are the expectations right now for you? Um, I think the biggest thing for me is gonna is learn the culture of Indiana wrestling. I've been out of Indiana for quite some time now. Um, I know Erwin had a you know thumbprint on that when it comes to recruiting and things of that nature. But um, that's gonna be the biggest thing for me is just just to uh, get to know what type of kids that we need to get to at Wabash and, and learn uh, those that, that can be successful at Wabash. So uh, that, that's going to take a little bit of time, but, you know, recruiting's a, recruiting's a, it's a work. You know, if you want to work hard at it, and, you know, definitely know how that happens, and that will help us uh, down the road. So. Ever-growing division. It's always mm -hmm. growing. D2 and D3 are ever-growing. Yeah. Uh, you know, if we could get D1 to start growing like that, we'd probably be in a little better shape. But you guys are ever growing. That means more teams, more competition. Can you guys win a team title here in the next five years? Obviously, that's the goal. Can you do it? Yeah, I think so. I think that's that's definitely, uh, you know, without a doubt the goal. But I think we can. I think we got to, you know, just looking at our rosters and talking to Coach Anderson, I think the vision and the, and the plan is in place. And it's just a matter of executing it now and getting the guys that will help execute it. So. Got some scrapping coming, about to happen here. Um, you got to get back in there. You got anything else for me? No, thanks a lot. Appreciate the time. All right. Go Little Giants. Little, little Giants. giants. Little the giant. oxy oxymoron, I think. Yes, it, it is. But uh, good luck to you. I appreciate it. Thanks.